Following the light of the sun, we left the old world. I have come to believe that this is a mighty continent, which was hitherto unknown. By prevailing over all obstacles and distractions, one may unfailingly arrive at his chosen goal or destination. Riches don't make a man rich, they only make him busier. Gold is a treasure, and he who possesses it does all he wishes to in this world, and succeeds in helping souls into paradise. These people are very unskilled in arms. With 50 men they could all be subjected and made to do all that one wished. My desire was not to pass any island without taking possession, so that, one having been taken, the same may be said of all. For the execution of the voyage to the Indies, I did not make use of intelligence, mathematics or maps. Tomorrow morning before we depart, I intend to land and see what can be found in the neighborhood. There are trees of a thousand sorts and all have their several fruits and I feel the most unhappy man in the world not to know them for I am well assured that they are all valuable. I bring home specimens of them and also of the land. As soon as I arrived in the Indies, in the first island which I found, I took some of the natives by force in order that they might learn and might give me information of whatever there is in these parts. And so it was that they soon understood us and we them, either by speech or by signs, and they have been very serviceable. Each day we understand better what the Indians say, and they us, so that very often we are intelligible to each other. No one should fear to undertake any task in the name of our Savior, if it is just and if the intention is purely for His holy service. The air soft as that of Seville in April, and so fragrant that it was delicious to breathe it. But in truth, should I meet with gold or spices in great quantity, I shall remain till I collect as much as possible, and for this purpose I am proceeding solely in quest of them. I propose to construct a new chart for navigating, on which I shall delineate all the sea and lands of the ocean in their proper positions under their bearings, and further I propose to prepare a book, and to put down all as it were in a picture, by latitude from the equator and western longitude. sailed this day 19 leagues, and determined to count less than the true number, that the crew might not be dismayed if the voyage should prove long. I saw a boy of the crew purchasing javelins of them, with bits of platters and broken glass. Their houses are all built in the shape of tents, with very high chimneys.
I believe that there are many herbs and many trees that are worth much in Europe for dyes and for medicines, but I do not know, and this causes me great sorrow. Arriving at this cape, I found the smell of the trees and flowers so delicious that it seemed the pleasantest thing in the world. After having dispatched a meal, I went ashore and found no habitation save a single house, and that without an occupant, we had no doubt that the people had fled in terror at our approach, as the house was completely furnished. For this purpose, I determined to keep an account of the voyage and to write down punctually everything we performed or saw from day to day as will hereafter appear. Stood off and on during the night, determining not to come to anchor till morning, fearing to meet with shoals, continued our course in the morning, and as the island was found to be six or seven leagues distant, and the tide was against us, it was noon when we arrived there. I am not solicitous to examine particularly everything here, which indeed could not be done in 50 years, because my desire is to make all possible discoveries and return to your highnesses, if it please our Lord, in April. I found that part of it towards San Salvador, extending from north to south five leagues, and the other side which we coasted along ran from east to west more than ten leagues, 